Hi, Chris Bersko back with lesson number five on building your storm panel insert. The next step is to take double-sided tape and apply it around the outside edge of your frame. This is for the plastic that we're going to apply later to be able to attach itself to the frame. We're going to do four corners, all four edges rather. The reason for that is if you put the double-sided tape around a corner, it rounds that corner out and it also allows the ability of some air pockets or bubbles to get into that corner. So we're going to apply the tape four times during this step. Each time, you're going to cut it at the edge. This goes around all four corners. Remember this step because you're going to have to do this again after we apply the first plastic. You do not want to peel the backing off of this quite yet. This is quite sticky tape, and if you do that, it will start sticking to everything, including all the sawdust and dirt that's in the room. And even the dirt on your fingers. This tape is hidden with the foam that we put around it later on, so it doesn't matter how pretty it is or if it's crooked, just as long as it's flat and it goes across from one edge to the other, one corner to the other. And then we're going to apply the plastic. In continuation of this lesson, now it's time to cut and apply the plastic. Our plastic is folded in half and it's 40 inches wide. So as long as your window is 40 inches wide or high, then you only need to cut for one of the dimensions. We're going to cut for basically six inches longer than your longest dimension. So if your window is 14 inches, you're going to cut about 20 inches of plastic. We've drawn lines on the table here in six inch increments to kind of help judge where that is so you don't have to make precise measurements. The next step will be to unfold this, lay it on the table, lay the frame on top, and then begin applying it. And we'll show you that in the next step.